it nice to get in? Do you want other people to be passionate about what you're passionate about? Sure. Does it feel nice when they are? Yeah. Glory to God. But to make a negative judgment if they're not would not be, be, be born from eternal life. Right. And so what I would say is I don't get it right every time. Because sometimes I might be feeling more weakness than, that week than other times. Sometimes I might be feeling more that week like, is any good thing happening from all this preaching? And I struggle to, I struggle sometimes to keep going if I think no one finds any value in it. I feel like, well, I'll go do something else, right? Like I'm not trying to find life from doing this. And so if I'm feeling more weak than other times, her positive affirmation of me or what's going on goes a long way just to helping me, right? Be settled. But for me to judge her by her positive reaction would be a crook, would be born from a crooked place. It wouldn't be born from life, right? So maybe I can't say it depends on the day, how I would react. But I know as I walked away, eternal life would say to me, Greg, if you need her to be interested for you to be excited, then something's out of place there, bro. See, I would probably feel that. I, like, I mean, I listen to that. I mean, I'll like theater. You don't want to go to all my plays. And I'm like, you know, just say it. I'm going to go to that one. You know, and I mean, at first I was like, <laughs> at first I was like, no, no, no. And I don't want you to now, you know. And then I got, you know, and I'm like, Reflection on me, but I think I would feel yeah. that if I, um, you know, if I was showing something like. I think most of us would feel that because we've been brought up in a world that teaches us to right. find approval by looking yeah, at other absolutely. people's approval, absolutely. and so I think that's a normal kind of reaction in the world. But what I would say is that's not how God would look at it, right? Like Jesus made a big table, you know, as a carpenter, and he went and showed Mary, and Mary's like, yeah. Great. He wouldn't walk away thinking. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want to encourage you to keep talking about eternal life. Because, um, you know, you all know that I sit with some gentlemen on Saturday mornings in, in Bible study. And yesterday we were talking about James 4, and I just kept coming back to eternal life. God just kept bringing it back that I would talk to them about eternal life. And they go, yeah, yeah, eternal life. But, and I kept thinking, no, it's not but it's eternal life. But I walked out of there feeling completely free and rejoicing and that I understood where they were coming from and that they were seeing everything through their carnal eyes. Right. But the, the message of eternal life has completely changed my life and the way I see so many things. So keep on preaching. Me too. I actually found what like, I always saw seemed like we were promised. And I mean like the fruit of the Spirit, yeah. right? A sound yeah. mind. Right? Yeah. And it's like, now I actually see those things being born in me. Right? It's like the power of a sound mind comes from eternal life. Amen.